Hello, guys. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Xiao Talk Show. So today we are going to do.、Uh, I'm gonna show you regular expressions in Emacs. Regular expressions. Okay. So this is gonna be a full tutorial on regular expressions.、Um, Covering reg、uh, Emacs regular expressions. Now Emacs regular expression is a little bit different from other、uh, regular expression in other languages such as Perl, Python, Ruby, Java, JavaScript. You know every language since about two thousand five have regular expression built in because it's、uh, very powerful for text processing, for doing you know manipulating strings, find and replace and so on. So every language has it and it's extremely useful. But regular expression is a bit hard to、um, understand. Takes some experience, okay? But I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you.、Uh, teach you Emacs regular expression, okay? From the ground up. How to call regular expression by command line? You know, lots of tips, and also for Emacs these programmers, okay? So we、uh, let's begin, okay? So if you have questions on Emacs and stuff, just post in the comments, okay? And support me by my tutorials, and、uh, you know, by my Emacs tutorials. You can find the link on my website, Xali. You you'll find it. Just search for Xali Emacs. Okay, so so let me so let's begin. Okay, let's begin quickly. So I'm using Emacs, of course, and show today's talk show. So this is today's talk show. That's what I'm going to cover. What's regular expression? Why not use wildcard? You know, glob pattern. What's you know? Why not use wildcard? Why? What's、uh, what's the difference? Examples of regular expression, and Emacs regular expression using Emacs regular expression by command, interactive command, and、uh, then the best way to test regular expression because regular expression is fairly complex. So I show you how to the best way to do、uh, to test it. You know, when you have you know lots of complex patterns and.、Uh, Then I cover some Emacs regular expression, you know the syntax. Then I talk about I'm going to talk about Emacs this、uh, regular expression, which is a string. Okay, so I'm using the keyboard Kinesis Advantage keyboard. You can see if you just search for、uh, Xali ergonomic keyboard reviews. So I'm using this one is Kinesis Advantage, my favorite, one of you know my main. Right, one of my favorite, and the other one on top here is Ultimate Hacking Keyboard. Okay, that's the best keyboard macro,、uh, the greatest macro keyboard macro features. So I got both of them. Fantastic. Okay, so so let me talk about. So let's begin、uh, Emacs regular expression. Okay, and here's a funny picture. You you see those things? Those are regular expressions, and in in this case, it's complex ones, complex ones. So you have lots of these. Uh, so-called toothpick syndrome. Okay, so and we have a record here, so you can see the complexities here, and、uh, then you can see this one, this part, you know, ten、uh, backslashes, and you can see、uh, there there is more. There's a record and ten, you know. So what's the record? Ten, seventeen, seventeen there. This is a code, actual source code in Emacs. You know, if you you know in this file, we we you know we can look at it. You 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 know if you go to this website, Emacs Lisp Toothpick Syndrome, just search for it. You'll find it, and you can you you can、uh, see the source code where it to find it. Okay, so that's regular. So let's begin. So what? So let me.、Uh, okay, so let's begin. Regular expression. My keyboards. Okay, so regular expression is a、uh, is is a is a syntax to match. Patterns in a string. Okay, so let me de demonstrate. First of all, you are probably familiar with a、uh, wildcard, for example. Okay, so let's turn on. Let's go to PowerShell. Okay, let's magnify. So,、uh, okay, so let's let me adjust this a little bit. So this is this is PowerShell. Uh, so let's list directories. Okay, the Record. We don't need records. Okay. Uh, and filter. Okay. Let's say filter. I want to list all HTML files. So you see that star sign. That's asterisk. That's a pattern. That means any file name zero or one more character followed by HTML. So enter. So you can see a whole list of sound talk show. So let's do it again. Okay. So let's let's do it. If you um. Let's see recurs. 
uh, recurse, uh, recurse, yeah, recurse, filter, recurse, then, so if I don't do, if I don't use the filter option, you are going to see a lot of JPEG files, PNG files, those are image files. So let, let me show you, okay, so for example, open them in desktop, so you can see this is the you know, uh, lots of past talk show uh, stuff. Image files, okay, so JPEG and PNG. So yeah, let me focus, okay, so so now we do just list HTML files and let's say recursive, okay. Okay, so now it's just HTML files. Now what if, now let's try JPEG, okay, JPEG. So it lists only JPEG files, dot, uh, file names ending in dot .jpg. Now what if you want, let's try PNG, okay? So all these are wildcard, wildcards. They, the purpose of wildcard is also to match patterns, okay? Let me get, go, go, uh, get going faster. Hey, Reaper. So PNG, so, so we can list PNG files, we can list HTML files, we can list JPEG files. What if, what if you want to list either PNG files or JPEG files? You cannot do that. You cannot do that with the wild card. In Unix, this this kind of pattern matching is called glob, G-L-O-B. Okay, that's a Unix name for this type of pattern matching. In, in Microsoft, it's just called wild card patterns. Okay, so let me show you, okay. Um, PowerShell, so you, you search for Xadi PowerShell tutorial and you can search for a uh, wild card, string wild card. You can, you can, so you can see these are the patterns. So you can have asterisk that matches any character zero or more times. So, so this is uh, this is wild card pattern. Now, but there's a limitation, there's a severe limitation. You, you cannot list, you know, either JPEG files or PNG files. Okay, so what you do, you can now you can do regular expression. Okay, let me show you. So, so here's an article. Um, let, let me copy that to, to my talk show. Okay, uh, talk show. Uh, today's talk show. Go to today's talk show and uh, let's post the link here. Okay, PowerShell wildcards. Then I'm going to show you. Um, uh, yeah, list file by pattern. Okay, this is uh, PowerShell. Okay, so. You can do it by wildcards. We we demonstrate it, and and here is how you do it by uh, uh, by regular expression pattern. Okay, so so let me let me show you. So recurse. Then we want to pipe it to where. Okay, pipe it to where where object and the file name I match. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so where? Okay, so let's let me just copy it. Okay, so you so now we modify this. And let's see. JPEG or PNG? Okay, so now we do it. Now you can see. This is JPEG files, and we also got PNG files. So again, here is the syntax, and this part you are seeing, that's regular expression. That's the power of regular expression. You cannot do it with wildcards, okay? So that's why, you know, you need regular expression. That's, you know, and regular expression can do lots of things, okay? Let's let's get on quick quicker, okay? So I have an article here explaining what's the difference between regular expression and wildcards, okay? Then, okay, then Emacs, okay, so let me show you, so, okay, so go to the file name directory, so uh, again, this is a bunch of image files, uh, let's hide the, so here you can see a bunch of image files, some of them are PNG, some of them are JPEG, okay? Now suppose, so, so I want to list all lines that ends in PNG, okay? So I do it. This command is called list matching lines. You can see here, list matching lines, okay? Do it, um, PNG, okay? So you give a regular expression. Uh, 
uh, backslash uh, backslash dot PNG and uh, give a dollar sign that means match the end okay so you um, okay so my window is uh, uh, let's do it again okay so you can see you can see here are all the PNG files that's using a regular expression okay now let's try let's try again but this time JPEG okay so you can see JPEG now what if you want both JPEG and PNG okay let's do it let's do it again so JPEG and and then uh, then you want to say all so let me magnify so you can, if you can see it so you can say JPEG backslash vertical symbol then backslash dot PNG okay that's the syntax we are using regular expression okay so you can see this matching these lines matching reg rejects okay so here you can see that's PNG files uh, it's all then there it is JPEG files there it is so that's demonstration of regular expression okay very very uh, useful you should uh, master it it takes a bit time to learn so you know uh, um, because it's uh, s slightly uh, complex okay so regular expression we're gonna cover the syntax but first of all so you can as, as you can see already you know the syntax is not too intuitive you know because you have the backslash you know if you look at if you you know you have the backslash and, and things like that so one of the easiest way okay cancel one of the easiest easiest way in Emacs to test regular ex expression is by using this command list matching lines okay so there's a full article on that um, list matching lines um, uh, search text in current, current file okay there's a okay there is a uh, there's a separate I should relink them anyway so this article explains list matching lines command you know is it has an alias it's an alias of occur command so you can use also use they are the same thing occur so this command is the most easy way to test regular expression so what do you do so if you have a bunch of files let, let's say let's say copy close new buffer paste and magnify and let's remove all the all the line beginning I mean all the Unix stuff okay so you see now we have a bunch bunch of files some of them are PNG some of them are JPEG uh, search JPEG okay so um, so now we want to so so yeah if you want to test regular expression just put uh, that's too complex let, let's say let's say this okay cat cart uh, sit there's no such word I don't think cut okay you know so you can test regular expression by calling list matching lines and uh, you know and then you type your regular expression so it doesn't match anything so let's try again but this time we want regular expression to be C dot T now in regular expression a dot means any any character just like the um, uh, almost like the uh, asterisk okay so c dot t enter so you can see it matches all these three lines uh, but let's say let's put a dog okay and do it again list matching lines c dot t so you see it doesn't it, it didn't list dog so that's regular expression we just extracted lines containing those words you, you know that uh, so this is a this is the best way to test regular expression you know remember that okay because uh, when you use Emacs it eventually you'll have complex regular expressions involving programming language syntax and uh, backslash you know escape so anyway so list matching lines this is a great way to test regular expressions okay so close so close uh, and uh, let's see what's next list matching lines okay why not wildcard we explained simple example of regular expression we explained now Emacs regular expression by interactive command that's list matching lines that's an example 
uh, and there is also um, and if you are programming Emacs Lisp, you know, in my tutorial, in my, in my video, I talked about coding Emacs Lisp a lot. Of course, you can use also use regular expression, but in there you have to uh, turn the regular expression into a string. For example, for example, right now we are trying to list. Uh, let's let's list. Um, uh, let's say. But anyway, in Emacs Lisp, you need it becomes a string, and when you have a string, you need to do a lot of escape. Okay, that's so. So that's a thing to watch out. I'm gonna explain that later. Okay, so then next Emacs regular expression commands. Okay, best uh e uh regular expression commands. That's that's list matching lines. Okay, so let's go back. Show show it again. So list matching lines is one of the most frequently used, and it's a it's it's a it's the best command to test your regular expression. Now the other, now the other most commonly used command interactive com commands in Emacs is query replace rejects. Okay, so let's say I want to replace all the words wildcard by rejects. Okay. Wait. Let, let's say I want to replace all where, uh, all the word rejects by regular expression, the full name. Okay. So what I do, I just call query replace rejects. Okay. You can see cancel. You can see in you know that's a command I called. So call it and type rejects. Okay. Enter. Then type regular expression. Okay. Do it. What? Uh, okay, wait. So we don't want the P at the end. So replace rejects by regular expression. Do it. You see, yes, 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 yes. Do you want to replace? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So cancel. Okay, that's that's one regular expression. That's uh. So this command query replace rejects very useful. So these two commands. Remember this. These two commands is the most useful and most frequently used commands in Emacs that. Involves a regular expression when you want to find some text or replace some text. Okay, these two commands, and they are the most useful if you want to test. You know when you are going about learning the regular expression syntax. Okay, now let's go on. Next, next is uh, let's cover regular expression syntax. So what is the um, syntax? Okay, so. So let me let me come. So hello guys. Hey hey Justin. So regular expression, uh, some is somewhat com complex. Okay, you know, I I had I have by now, twenty years experience uh, using regular expression in Perl, in studying in Perl, in Unix script, in you know, in different languages, in Python, in Wolfram language, um, um, you know, few few weeks ago we I demonstrated Wolfram language regular expression in Wolfram language, and okay, so regular expression. So I I I want to tell you it's not very easy to understand. Okay, you you are running into frustra frustrations for sure. I can tell you that. But you you gradually learn. Okay, over 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 the years. Okay, over a month or so. So let let me demonstrate some. Uh, so so regular expression syntax. Okay, let 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 me see where how do I uh wanna cover that. Um. It can get quite esoteric, so, so I'm not going to cover the whole thing because the whole thing will, um, you know, if if you are seeing regular expression for the first time, it's no good to learn the whole thing. You want to learn some simple ones. So let me just cover some of the simplest patterns. Okay, so the simplest patterns in regular expression. Let's write it out. Most simple re. Uh, regular expression. I have a shortcut. So most simple regular expression. Okay. So show the pink window. Uh, most simple regular expression syntax or patterns. Okay. So dot. Let me just write it out. So it's so you can easily. Uh, everything I talked today is all in my tutorial. So you can you know just search for Xali Emacs regular expression. Then you will find a a series of articles like all the way um down here you see 
this section, this box. So this article's regular expression, what is what it is compared to wildcards, the syntax, and uh, how is Emacs regular expression syntax differ from Python, Java, JavaScript. Okay, for you programmers, you can read this page. Then there's a regular expression. How is it used in Emacs Lisp and so on? Okay, so let me right now cover. So so you know you can just read my tutorial if you are just want to read it. So right right now let me cover some of the most used patterns in regular expression. Okay, so a dot now a, a dot means any character. Okay. Uh, then then you have the most common pattern is the square bracket. So the square bracket, so let me actually add the, you'll see what I'm doing later, okay. Uh, so a square bracket, a square bracket, then 0, 2, then, uh, wait, A, B, C, any of the charts, A, B, C, okay. X, for example, you can put any characters here. So if you have a sequence of, you know, any character you want to match, you add a square bracket, that they'll match it. So these are the most simple. So next, now when you use a square bracket, there's a special syntax that allows you to say A to B, I mean A to Z. That means match anything from A to Z, okay? Any of the charts are A to Z, okay, that's a like special case with the square bracket syntax. That's why, I, you know, regular expression is slightly complex, slightly complex. Okay, so, so A to Z, then you can also, of course, you can do 0 to 9, any of the digit, okay, uh, zero, uh, 0 to 9, okay, so that allows you to, so, so now, so, so okay, so so next we have a um. So so far we covered are certain patterns that allows you to either match an arbitrary character or a a set of characters or you know a ordered sequence you know of characters. But but now let me introduce another uh symbol, a, a, a syntax in regular expression, that is the plus sign, okay? Plus sign means one or more of the previous pattern, okay? So for example, so for example, if you want to match, um, let, let, me, let, me, let me give you this example, okay? A to Z plus, okay? So what does that mean? That m means match one or more, that's a plus sign, one or more of the previous pattern. Now the, pre the previous pattern is any of A to Z. So this basically means match any, match a word basically. So match a sequence of lower case English alphabet. Okay, so let me uh, clean up this and let's view them in X view them in HTML show it in browser so here are the regular expression patterns we have covered so far and these are the most frequently used okay so begin learning by you know trying trying regular expression commands with these patterns okay so let, let's demo let's start to demo so let's say if your buffer has lot, lots of so let's begin uh, it, it, okay, so let's open something, something, magnify, uh, 997 cats and 70 dogs, okay, so I want to extract all the numbers here, okay, so what you can do is, um, uh, let, let's say I want to put a quote, for example, uh, for example, this part, I want it to turn into that, okay? And suppose I have thousands of these lines. How do you do that? Regular expression, okay? So, so what we do is 
query replace re regular expression, query replace rejects here, then give you a regular expression. Let me let's demonstrate this. Okay, so magnify the mini buffer. Uh, the mini buffer. So I want to say. Okay, this involves capture. Okay, so. Uh, okay, capture is a new concept we haven't introduced yet. Let, let's just list uh, all the lines containing numbers. Okay, so list matching lines, then square bracket, magnify, then ze uh, zero to nine, then add a plus. Okay, so that will list all lines matching this. You see, so we are look, we are you know. So here's the result, including the double quote lines. Okay, so we have demonstrated this one with the plus sign. Okay, so okay, so that's so far so good. So that's a basic, you know, that's some of the most simple patterns. Okay, how long have I been going? Uh, Twenty-seven minutes. Okay, so we I'm gonna cover up, cover and you know we uh, hopefully ten more minutes or 50, uh, twenty minutes then. That's it for today. Uh, okay, so regular expression, the most basic patterns. Okay, so so where is the syntax here? Okay, on this page. So yeah. So so far so good. Now let's let me introduce. Uh, so we got we covered many of these patterns. Let 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 me introduce. Capture okay. Now, for example, we want to replace this line by by let's say adding a quote around uh, around the pattern we want. So what we do is so there is a pattern. So let's go back here. Let's write it out. So there is the syntax where you you put uh, backslash backslash parenthesis pattern okay that means capture the pattern okay so this pattern should be a regular expression okay whatever it is you know this regular expression can be anything we covered before so that means capture the pattern so what what does capture means it means that when you want to do replacement you can refer to the pattern and uh, add some more text you know surrounding it things like that so let's let me demonstrate okay showing browser first of all so we can see there it is uh, actually let, I, I want to add so this is just so that means the pattern okay capture okay so let's demonstrate capture so delete those so I want to add a uh, double quote okay so call query replace rejects okay now enter regular expression okay now let's magnify it. so backslash left paren then a square bracket left square bracket then zero to nine I want to match anything any digit zero to nine okay then backslash then paren right paren okay so I so I'm gonna capture this but we forgot we need to say one or more so add a plus sign okay so now this is uh, let me yeah so now you can see okay so that's the pattern with the parenthesis capture okay so enter now Emacs asks you what do you want to replace it with okay so let's say a quote then backslash one that refers to the pattern we just captured it's one because it's the first pattern okay then then uh, quote again okay enter so Emacs found it it asks you if you want to replace it or not so type yes type y to replace type n to say no and uh, type a exclamation to replace them all so anyway let's say yes okay yes 
yes. Okay, so you see, this is regular expression. We are using a pattern that captures and replaces. Now let's do it again. So this time, our regular expression is gonna be instead of the quote, let's say, okay, wait, wait, let, let, let's do this. Okay, so in programming languages, many programming languages use this double quote, but some programming languages use single quote. So this time, let's say I want to, this is a programming language, let's say I want to convert double quote to single quote, but not just every quote because, uh, well, hold on a second. For example, some other words are also uh, quoted. I only want to replace digits that has a quote to change this part to single quote and also this part. Okay, let's do it. Let's say change double quoted numbers to single quote. Okay, that's what we want to do. Okay, so query replace rejects and uh, the pattern the pattern will be uh, you want to capture it yes okay so we need a double quote there okay that's the pattern enter now what do you want to replace it we want to replace it by a single quote okay so just type single quote and also okay so we just want to backslash one single quote backslash one that refers to the capture okay do it yes yes you see fantastic okay uh and uh okay so now so far so good so that's a basic intro introduction to regular expression so you learned you learned you know a set of characters or a wild card and also repeating a pattern one or more times or and you also learn how to capture a pattern okay so let me demonstrate the next thing okay so let's copy that close that let's put a text box and so we can have a reference later on okay so now let's so so far that's some of the some of the regular ex expression um, syntax okay there's there are a lot more but i'm not gonna cover them all today let's go on let's go on to but that's a basic idea okay let me show you one more thing in emac that this is uh, important specific to emacs in emacs if you want to replace if you want to include a new a line return in emacs you have to type control q enter okay for example uh, let's copy that okay so let's copy that let's let's paste it here let's in emacs if you want to include a new line char you cannot use backslash n okay uh, you have to use you have to press control plus q enter okay that's how you do it so let's for example let's try something cat dog sum okay now let's try it so now let's say i want to replace cat dog in two lines into one single line okay into one single line with a space in between okay so i call query replace rejects okay cat backslash n dog enter you see it gives you an error okay it gives you an error so cancel so now let's try again uh, query replace rejects cat now i want to enter so a line return so i press control q enter um actually that's control q control j let's try again <laughs> it's a bit complex okay so let's try again query replace rejects cat 
Control Q, Control J, OK。呃， What? 哦、I press the wrong key. Ah,、uh, so that's why it's a bit complex. So try it again. Cat, Control Q, Control J, OK. Dog. Now you can see in the mini buffer, ah,、uh, the mini buffer is kind of. It doesn't show both lines. Okay, there it is. Okay, so you can see that's how you enter a line return. Control Q, Control J. Okay, this is a bit、um, different. You cannot use backslash n. Okay, enter, then replace it by cat space dog. Okay, do it. Yes. Okay, that's how you do it. Uh, what if you have、uh, more? So, what if you have um? What if you have anything? So,、uh, so what if you have? What if you want to replace anything? That's let me show you a more complex example of regular expression using capture. Okay, so if cat and uh, uh, let's say tiger, uh, cat and uh, let's say uh. Rabbit, you want to replace any two lines. Let me write it down. Replace any two lines such that the first line is cat. Okay,、uh, and the second line is anything. Okay, replace. Them into one single line. Okay, that's a that's what we want to do. Okay, so let's let's add some more examples. Cat, something and something. Okay, so and、uh, let's say a. Let's add some more random text. Okay, so now let's do the regular expression. Query replace rejects. Okay. The first line is cat, then control Q control J for a return. The second line we want to capture it, so that's going to be backspace backslash backslash and、uh, left paren. Then square bracket because we want to capture a to z. Or space, okay. Or zero two zero two nine, or capital A two Z. Okay, any any one of those characters, then one or more plus. Okay, then backslash right parentheses. Okay. So that captures whatever is、uh, on the second line. Okay. Double check. Is that right? Yes. But the first line must begin with cat. Okay. So do it. Now, what do you want to replace by? Replace by cat. Same thing as the first line. Then. Control Q Control J to add a line return. Then backslash one. Okay, that's the pattern we captured. Okay, enter. So found one instance. Yes, yes or no? Yes, replace. Oh, we don't want a、uh, mistake. <laughs> anyway, we the the second the second the replacement. We don't want the new line. We want the space. But I enter the new line instead. So let, okay, let's try again. <sighs> Actually, so this so this time it's easier because you can just modify it. Okay. So like that, okay. Enter, yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, so. Okay, so now let's let's see next. Forty minutes. Okay, so so now let's talk about. So those are some of the most frequently used patterns and examples. Now let's talk about.、Um, Regular expressions in Emacs Lisp. Okay, so 
so it's uh, any any comments and questions are you guys uh, six people watching so let's cover some regular expression in emac lisp okay so the yeah let's do that so the most frequently used regular expression functions in emac lisp is are these okay so you have research forward that will search a regular expression pattern to the right forward and uh, when it's found it will return true and it will also move the cursor to to whatever the pattern matched uh, place position so so these are the most frequently used regular expression functions in emac lisp okay research forward and by the way research forward is a has an alias more intuitive name search forward rejects okay that's a more intuitive name but they are the same function it's just an alias okay so research forward then you also have research backward then you have skip charts forward and skip charts backward and okay that's skip charts forward and backward is a bit variation okay i'm not going to explain now then you have the string match now string match is is when you want to match a string with a regular expression meanwhile the research forward and research backward are trying to match the text in a buffer okay like right now you are looking at a buffer it's so so because emacs is you know unlike other languages where you just you don't have the buffer thing you don't have the you know text editor it's not a text editor in in python in php in java you have a string instead so you always basically you have functions to match you know a regular expression in a string and in emacs that's this command string match okay but most of the time you are working with text in a buffer like right now you are looking at the buffer so you 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 know you, there's no string to match i mean act, actually the whole text in a buffer are kind of strings so so you want to match the text in a buffer so most of the time you want to use research forward and research backward okay uh okay so there's a lot to cover um, you know and uh let me just uh, show an example okay so let, let's try to show some same example uh, okay so let, let me quickly demonstrate okay so let's go here let's paste it here and let's open that okay so same thing we like before now this time uh, this time we are going to use a we are doing it programmatically using emac lisp we want to replace any number quoted with double quote by a single quote okay uh, in e lisp okay so now what do we do we do uh, like this okay uh, first of all turn this into a emac lisp mod okay so hold on a second uh, wait okay so hold on a second uh, so we start a new emac list blog put it the put the text inside then start a new buffer okay so now we are in emac lisp so let's do research forward okay now regular expression we want a zero to nine a digit one or more digits then we and we want to uh one or more digits we we want to capture it so to capture you need backslash paren but here is a complexity you need actually two backslash because normally a regular expression you know to capture you use backslash parentheses but now in emac lisp 
regular expression is a string. So you can see, you know, it's a string. And inside the string, a backslash is an escape mechanism. So in order to add a backslash, you need backslash backslash. So, so this is when you started to see lots of the backslash. Okay, so this is how you capture a sequence of digits. Okay, one or more. So once you capture, and also, also you need to add that double quote because you want to capture, you know, double quote then digit inside. So you need add a to add a double quote here. So how do you add a double quote? Again, backslash quote. That's how you add a double quote inside the string. And same thing here. So that is our regular expression. So we want to search for word by that pattern. And optional bound, no error, we don't care, okay? We don't care about those options, okay? So now this is the code. Now we just evaluate it and it should move the cursor to to the place where it matches. Okay, now let's evaluate the code. Do it. There, there it is. You see. So, for example, let's change. Let's add more number. Okay, okay. So, let's add some more random number. Okay. Now let's try again. Evaluate it. You see, it, and uh, we can. You know, we can add lots of uh, things here. Let's try it again do it you see it always you know it, it found a pattern now what if you want to replace it let me show you okay so replace so let's group the whole thing let's group the whole thing into one block of code like that okay then so to replace what you do is uh, uh, replace match okay so so here you want to put what you want to replace by so you want to replace by backslash backslash one i think that work okay so okay so let's let's don't care about option so now if we call Let's make it clean, okay? Now, if we call this command, it should replace the first occurrence of this thing, replace the double quote by a single quote, okay? Let's put the cats before, okay? Um, so that, let's put more double quote so we can. Let's put the double quote here. So we know that the command skipped that part okay so now let's evaluate okay do it you see it did the replacement but we made made a mistake we need to add a single quote here so undo single quote there it is okay let's do it again watch this line okay do it fantastic okay so that's a demonstration of regular expression in emacs lisp now the few things you want to uh, know important tips okay so first of all the most important functions in emac list for regular expression that's a uh, research forward research backward and also skip charts forward you can read about it later <coughs> skip charts backward and string match okay and what if you <coughs> excuse me what if you want to get the matched string or patterns so those are these commands and uh, we have demonstrated one of them uh, which is this replace match okay that's how you replace which we have demonstrated okay so these are the most important regular expression functions the most used by far by 90 over 90 percent are these okay so you are learning emac these these are the functions you want to master and also, this is how you test regular expression. The most simple and efficient way, in my opinion, how you test regular expression in Emacs Lisp code. Because the pattern can get very complex, you know, especially with the backslash. So you can just type, you know, research forward, then put whatever whatever text at the bottom, then you you try your uh, pattern here, regular expression. 
then whatever then then you just evaluate this code you know by calling uh eval last six you see that so you see we made another change you know 70 becomes single quote okay that's the most used regular expression functions and uh, how you test regular expression in Emacs Lisp. Okay, that's that's that. And uh, let's see what what what's the next thing. Uh, find and replace string in a buffer. You can read that. Lots of examples. Uh, okay, th I think that's it for today. So, yeah. So ba you know basic coverage of regular expression in Emacs Lisp. I hope I'm not too repetitious. Now, if you like my stuff, okay, look here, buy XR Emacs tutorial, okay? So click on that, go to PayPal, pay me, or you can pay me by Patreon, uh, or you can just PayPal me or Amazon gift card, okay? XRD.info. Show JavaScript, turn on JavaScript. So I did a lot of tutorials in different languages and at the bottom you can see Patreon me five bucks five bucks Amazon gift card me PayPal me or Bitcoin me okay thank you guys so let's see questions uh how come your turn is what you stay consistent yeah today I try to be um calm <laughs> instead of <laughs> instead of something else uh okay so okay so thank you guys hey justin and hey reaper leaning toothpick syndrome yeah so that's it for today so the leaning toothpick syndrome very interesting you know that's uh happens with emacs regular expression okay so i'm gonna shut down in two minutes or so so let's look random a little bit random okay so uh, random for example what is this keyboard blog I want to uh, tell you something about regular expression related uh, yeah the difference of Emacs Lisp regular expression versus uh, other languages reg regular expression okay it's here are the main major differences you see in most other languages when you capture you just use parentheses okay but in emacs you have to use backslash parentheses now because emacs string now emacs doesn't have a separate syntax for regular expression string versus a regular string you see in python for example in python in Perl, in javascript and uh, i think in java as well in almost all the other languages a regular expression is a string however that string has a special semantics than a normal string you know because the regular expression string the backslash has a spe special meaning for example backslash d means a digit okay but in emacs lisp there's no separate thing everything is a string okay string is a data type and regular expression is expressed in a string so in a string backslash has special meaning so if you want a backslash you have to double backslash okay so anyway so in like this you know parenthesis is literal so if you want to capture you have to backslash parenthesis and because it's a string so therefore you need another backslash to escape the backslash so that looks like that so this is the most this is probably the most important difference okay and then there are others for example in other languages you have backslash d for digits but in emacs Lisp, you don't have that you either use like we showed before zero to nine or you can use this kind of longer syntax that's parsex syntax okay and similarly for word and white space okay so that's some of, some of the um that that's the most important differences okay now yeah i'm gonna shut down so let me show uh pearl style so what uh, there's a question what regular flavor what regular expression flavor do you prefer 
Um, per style, yeah. So regular expression, you know, over the past thirty thirty years, there are uh, there are a handful of variants. Obviously, Emacs Lisp syntax is very different from all the others. By the way, there's some more interesting things about Emacs Lisp regular expression we haven't covered. Uh, for example, in Emacs Lisp regular expression, you can have uh, where is it? Syntax reg regular expression syntax in Emacs regular expression, you have certain regular expression patterns that's that's associated with the Emacs Lisp um, syntax table. You know that's getting esoteric because in Emacs Lisp that the language you have the concept called syntax table. Okay. Uh, which is very hard to work with, but the basic idea is that every character in Unicode is categorized into a class. So you have, like, for for example, alphabets. You know, A to Z, and any letters in Russian alphabet or Chinese characters. Those are let 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 me let me show it. Okay, so you have this. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, syntax table. This is kind of esoteric. So let's see where is it. Yeah, syntax table. So you can see. So here on the left, you you are looking at some of the regular expression syntax in Emacs Lisp flavor that does not exist. Okay, uh, starting from here, that does not exist anywhere else. Okay, th this these are Emacs Lisp specific. Okay, and they refer to the syntax table. Their meaning is connected to the syntax table concept. And what is the syntax table? That's a special thing in Emacs Lisp, in Emacs, okay, which basically categorize characters according to their type, like punctuation, symbol, word, things like that. So syntax table is a is specific is buffer local. It's specific to each buffer, which means, depending on what major mod you are in, your syntax table, which characters belongs to what class, may be different. For example, in Emacs Lisp, in Emacs Lisp major mod, you know, a dash is considered part of the symbols syntax. But in 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 Golan, for example. A dash is a punctuation. You see, so when you use so that means when you use the regular expression in Emacs to match a symbol such as that one. You know that matches the beginning of symbol. It will it will fail. It 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 will behave differently depending what is the current buffer's major mod. Whether it's you know because the syntax table are different. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if I make sense. So. So the point is that Emacs Lisp has regular expression has something particular to Emacs Lisp. It's not in other regular expression. Now, as far as your question, you know the regular expression variations. So let me show you some. Um, so search for Xali regular expression index. So you can see. I have written a lot, a lot, uh, tons of articles on regular expression. For example, complete coverage of JavaScript regular expression, more than ten articles. Uh, you know what function to use. Uh, complete coverage of Python regular expression. Uh, you know twenty articles. Golan regular expression, Perl regular expression, PowerShell regular expression, Wolfram language regular regular expression. And Emacs Lisp regular expression. So, and uh, but but the question about you know which one I prefer. Usually, I don't use the two you know the two advanced regular exp expressions such as backtracking and stuff. Like whenever I need to do that, I simply I simply manipulate you know do more more than one pattern instead. Like if 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 I found this and check. Whether some other condition is met, you know, you just have two if statements. Uh, that make thing thing that make things much more simpler and much more flexible. Instead of relying on a specific 
variation of a regular expression to have a particular feature. Because when you started to use backtracking and things like that, the syntax gets complex, you know. Um, okay, that, you know, that's kind of advanced, you know. Uh, okay, that's it. Um, Oh yeah, so yeah, so good point. Justin says that a nice function in Emacs, a nice command to test regular expression is highlight lines matching rejects. Yeah, that's that's fantastic suggestion. I should add that. Thank you. I should add that to my tutorial. So let me show you. So I want to add, uh, match. Uh, let's say I want to match a sequence of digits. Okay, so I just call. Um, yeah, rejects to highlight. So the command is called uh, highlight rejects. Okay, that's the command name. So I press a key. So so by default, you know, so zero to nine plus. Okay, do it. And what color? Yellow. Okay, there it is. So this is fantastic. You see, you see, all the numbers are now colored. I can I can easily see if you are in a programming source code. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, Okay, another question about command line calendar. Okay, well that's another another day. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I'm getting tired. It's one hour. Thank you guys for watching. Donate. Okay, donate. Thank you, and uh, share my videos. Okay, you know you might like it. Click like. You know that's a YouTube controlling things, but uh, you know if you like my video share it thank you bye uh shut down shut down here thank you thank you